Tonight, a Boston Herald journalist is now sharing video of how the bombing sent shockwaves of emotion through runners who didn't know what was going on at the time. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace has the latest information from the Providence Mobile Newsroom now. I spoke with Katie Eastman via Skype Monday evening, and she tells me that she not only wanted to record the runners, but also everyone who came out to cheer them on during the Boston Marathon. Of course, we now know she captured a whole lot more. We are hot. The skyline is Boston Marathon. Boston Herald journalist Katie Eastman records her every move on her GoPro camera as she approaches the finish line of her third Boston Marathon. And then... It went from one of the most amazing and inspirational days of my life to horror, really. She wasn't close enough to see what happened. But we knew something was wrong because the police officers just had this look in their face and you could tell something bad had happened. At first, a police officer told me, ma'am, just keep running. And you can see that in the video. Ma'am, just keep running. Did they say what happened? I asked some other runners and they seemed to know and they said two explosions are at the finish line. Um, it's very bad. She also became separated from her sister and knew her parents were meeting her at the finish line. My sister just started crying as soon as she heard my voice and she told me my parents were okay and that was an amazing feeling. What's also amazing is that in the confusion, Katie lost her GoPro camera. A couple visiting from California found it, looked at the footage, and tracked the number on her shirt through the Boston Athletic Association website. They contacted Katie through Facebook and sent her camera back, giving Katie a chance to cross the finish line she hadn't quite reached. Because that isn't the end of the story. Um, we are a strong city. We're all strong runners, and I needed to finish the race with my sister. And Katie tells me while we did see the worst of humanity on that day, we also saw humanity's very best. With the Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.